so separating hyperplanes uh, suppose your dimension of input space is n plus 1 then your separating hyperplane actually is of n dimension and will pass to the origin of n plus 1 dimensional input space here's your input vector feature and these are your parameters and the hyperplane is, will be of dimension n your input space is of dimension n plus 1 I will pass to the origin of n plus 1 dimension input space. We already consider Gaussian discrete analysis with a class of algorithm known as generative learning algorithms. We will again consider it when we discuss about logistic discrimination. This lecture will focus only on two class classification. So consider this is your data set, your red circle represent class A and blue crosses represent class B. You want to find the best separating hyperplane that separate the two classes with minimum error. So this is the decision boundary or separating hyperplane by least square discrimination. You will consider the mathematical formulation of least square discrimination in the upcoming slides. So there is our decision boundary this is passing through the origin of this input space as I mentioned. Now there is the same data set with the same separating hyperplane only the scale is changed here the scale was from 0 to 400 and 0 to 350 here the scale is from 0 to 500 and 0 to 800. This is just to show you the effect of distant data points. So if you add these points to your data set uh, to your class A then this will be the separating hyperplane separating hyperplane through least square discrimination so as you can clearly see this is not one of the robust classifier so this is your new data set and this is the decision boundary that we are getting by least square discrimination and this is the effect of outlier that is distant data points and this is L1 norm fitting. Now don't bother much about L1 norm fitting. We will discuss this in detail in the upcoming lectures. So this was the decision boundary without these data points. And this is the decision boundary after adding these data points. So this is not a robust classifier. This is just to show you that this is not a robust classifier to classify your data. So as I already mentioned, this is not a robust classifier and even a slight change in the location of data points will have huge impact over the parameters of your separating hyperplane. So to make it robust, we can add a regularization terms, the distance or parameter regularization. And we already saw the L1 norm fitting. This was the L1 norm fitting which is also not a very robust classifier in this case so now let us consider the support vector machines support vector machines will be discussed in a separate lecture in which you will consider the mathematical formulation of support vector machines and also relevance vector machines so this is the classification through SVM as you can see SVM is independent of these data points whether you add these data points or not these data points will not affect the result of classification done by SVM and this is a magnified look of the classification done by SVM somewhere around here 120 to 220 and 120 to 240 it is approximately uh, here so as we can see SVM is a very robust classifier and this is one of the best known classifier for discrimination so consider this is another data set which is non separable your class A is represented by red circles and your class B is represented by blue cross and this is the result of classification through SVM so as we can see this is a very robust classification
so SVM will be discussed in length in upcoming lectures as I already mentioned and uh, once we are done with this we will again consider SVM and RVM when we discuss about the kernels like the general family of kernels and especially Mercer kernel so there is a mathematics behind the least square discrimination your x is as I as you already discussed in first seven lectures this is your matrix of your in uh, of your input vectors this is your target vector and y i equal to 1 for class a and y equal to minus 1 for class b during regression uh, the y was representing the target values now here the y uh, now here the target vector is representing the class values that is 1 for class a and minus 1 for class b this is your parameter vector and this is a result of using least square error function it is w is x transpose x inverse x transpose y we can all we can also derive this using maximum probabilistic interpretation and uh, likewise considering the likelihood function and then maximizing the log likelihood and this is the solution for our parameters using least square error function uh, that is x transpose x inverse x transpose y so thank you for watching this lecture please provide your feedback